Hello and welcome to Salt Wire today for Monday, June 19th. I'm your host, Kate Walker. QP school support workers and the students they work with are back to class today after a strike that lasted more than a month. QP Local 5047 and the Halifax Regional Center for Education announced over the weekend that the tentative agreement reached last week has now been ratified. The more than 1,800 QP members that include educational program assistants, youth care practitioners, early childhood educators and more walked off the job May 10th seeking better wages for the Halifax area, arguing the cost of living is far more than what their colleagues pay in other parts of the province. Details of the contract won't be released for a few days, but we do know that the union was unable to move the government on wage increases, which are no higher than what the other locals accepted. According to reports in the agreement, it has improvements to retroactive pay, health and safety language, as well as vacation time. It also adds casual workers to the bargaining unit. The union has not said what percentage of its members voted to accept the deal. The last day of the school year is June 30th. Four people have died in a crash on Highway 103 in Lunenburg County over the weekend. On Saturday, emergency crews were called to the head-on collision in Maitland around 5 p.m. RCMP say a westbound Ford Escape crossed the center line and collided with an eastbound Toyota Tacoma. Seconds later, an eastbound Honda Civic crashed into the Tacoma. The driver of the Escape, a 71-year-old man from Bridgewater, and his two 66-year-old female passengers all died. The driver and sole occupant of the Tacoma a 31-year-old man from Chester Basin also died. The two people in the Honda Civic were taken to hospital with minor injuries. Highway 103 was closed between exits 11 and 12 for several hours, but has since reopened. More affordable housing is coming for people in Annie Ganish and the Halifax Regional Municipality. Former projects were announced today under the province's Land for Housing program. The Annie Ganish Affordable Housing Society will receive 0.59 hectares of provincially owned land on Appleseed Drive. The proposal is 14 affordable units. NHRM newly approved land for housing includes six detached homes on 1.25 hectares on Karen Drive in Westfall, 32 townhouses on up to eight hectares on Hammonds Plains Road and 48 residential units and a commercial space in a mixed-use building on up to four hectares on Herring Cove Road. These are all in the pre-development and design stages. Some exciting news for a cancer care center in Halifax. On Friday night, the chief of medical physics with Nova Scotia Health showed off an ethos therapy system in the Dixon Building Cancer Care Center at the QE2 in Halifax. It's a groundbreaking innovation in radiation therapy for cancer patients. You would um, be set up on this treatment bed. Um, in just a couple of minutes, um, we would put you into the, the bore of this and in six seconds, we would take um, an image of you, a, a three-dimensional cone beam CT image with incredible quality. Six seconds. So the previous, Susan, you asked me about differences. The previous generation of cone beam imaging technology took over a minute. Dr. Robar says the take-home message is this is a machine that can image you very well, adjust the way doctors are going to treat you in 15 minutes, and then deliver that modified personal treatment plan day by day. The $8 million project was made possible by a generous $1 million donation from BMO Atlantic announced on Friday evening. It makes the Queen Elizabeth II Health Sciences Center in Halifax the first hospital in the world to obtain images of human trial participants on an ethos therapy system equipped with the new Hypersight imaging solution. A colorful and lively parade made its way through the downtown core in Halifax this weekend. Hundreds of people pulled a decorated chariot through the streets led by dancers on Saturday for the Ratha Yatra or the Festival of Chariots. It follows a tradition that originated in Puri, India thousands of years ago. The parade finished at the garrison grounds with a festival celebrating Indian culture, music and food. The second annual event was hosted by Ixcon Halifax, the local branch of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. On to weather now to see what's coming up in the forecast. We're going to check in now with our weather specialist, Alistair Alders. 
Well, what a weekend that turned out to be, Kate. We had those strong thunderstorms rolling through late Saturday evening and overnight into Sunday morning. And then Father's Day itself, unfortunately, was quite damp. But as spring winds down, yes, we're at the end of the spring season. We'll be turning up the heat to welcome summer. This evening, we'll have mainly cloudy skies and the temperature near 12 degrees and waking up to 9 degrees on your Tuesday morning with mainly cloudy skies. And I do think the cloud cover will dominate for most of our Tuesday. However, in the afternoon, we could start seeing some sunny breaks and a high up to 17 degrees in HRM thanks to a northerly wind of 20 kilometers per hour. As we go through Tuesday evening, skies will continue to clear. We'll start to see a bit of sunshine, especially heading towards sunset and then brighter as we welcome summer just before noon on Wednesday. Temperatures will be in the mid-20s and as the week progresses we're talking about mid to high 20s and much of HRM could even be seeing some low 30s by Friday inland so certainly warming up as we welcome in the new season. Kate. Thank you Alistair that's all for now for more extended video and full online articles stay tuned to saltwire.com and you can find us on social media. I'm your host Kate Walker thank you for joining us and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Turn off the noise. Tune in to what matters. What matters is information you can trust. What matters is the news you can use to make life's big decisions. Informed healthcare choices, casting the smart vote, or opening that business. What matters is understanding the world around you. Let Saltwire connect you to what matters with unlimited access to the information you need for only $20 for the first year. Become a member today.